Hi, welcome back to my channel, Modistra Sews. I'm Hannah. Today starts part three of sewing this Myosotis dress from Deer and Doe Patterns. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the sew along. Today we're gonna to go over sewing inset sleeves with a French seam. Let's get started. I'm gonna be sewing the ruffle sleeve and we're gonna need two pieces. We'll need our top of our sleeve for the cap of our sleeve and then we'll need the ruffle portion. But right now we're just gonna focus on the ruffle. So as you can see here, I need to do a gathering stitch. And when I do that, all I'm doing is I'm gonna take it to the machine and at the very top here, I'll sew two rows of basting stitches, one at half of an inch and then one at a qu three quarters of an inch. So I'll sew across and then what I'll do is I'll get to the corner here, I'll pivot and stitch down about two stitches and then come back across at that three quarters of an inch. That way all my thread tails will be on one side and I can easily pull my um, bobbin thread to do my gathering. In order to be able to see the bobbin thread, what I like to do is I like to take leftover bobbins that I have and I will use this as my top thread. I'll put this in the top of the machine and then maybe I'll use this red one as the bobbin thread. That way I can easily see the threads and which one I need to pull. And then later when we ease this portion into the top of our sleeve, I can remove those stitches because I won't need them. They're not construction stitches. So I'll take this to the sewing machine. I'll add my um, basting stitch and then I'll come back here and I'll show you how I ease all of this in to the top portion of our sleeve. Before you start stitching, make sure you set your stitch length to the longest length that your machine can do. And also make sure that you have long thread tails pulled out already. And then begin basting. Now that our basting stitches in, we're going to need to gather this because as you can see, we need to fit this ruffle into the bottom portion of this part of the sleeve. So to do that, we're gonna take our uh, ruffle, we're gonna find the, the bottom stitches or the bobbin stitch, and that's the one we're gonna pull. So basically, we're just gonna keep pulling until we can get this to fit the bottom portion of our sleeve. <music> to start checking to see if it's going to fit in and you're going to have to make sure that you evenly distribute your gathers so you're going to have to work with this to get it to how you want it to look but you just keep going until you're able to pin it to the bottom of this so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to uh, pin it into place all right, so I've gathered it to my liking and it fits in, so I'm gonna pin it into place. And remember, I'm doing French seams, so I'll pin wrong sides together first, sew it, and then I have to flip it to right sides together and sew again. But you can finish it however you want to finish your garment. Okay, now we're all ready to sew it into place. my ruffle um, all sewn in and now all we have to do is we're going to have to do another basting stitch at the top of our sleeve to create our sleeve cap and the way we're going to do that is we're going to sew a basting stitch from this notch to this notch and we're going to do it the same way we did it with our ruffle we'll sew one row going this way pivot sew about two stitches and then come back this way you're going to do the first one at a half an inch and then the second one at three quarters of an inch and you're gonna do that. And then also we will sew up our side seam. So I'm gonna show you how do I sew up the side seam because I've already showed you how to do the basting stitch. So go ahead and baste the cap of both of your sleeves and then go ahead and sew up your side seams. As you can see here, I pinned my side seams together and you're gonna finish them however you are finishing your garment. I'm gonna sew French seams on my side seam. Now that we have our sleeve side seam sewn up, we can get to the next part, which we will want to hem our sleeve before we insert it into the bodice. This is gonna give us less bulk to deal with. 
So um, what we're going to do is we're going to fold the hem up twice by 3 eighths of an inch. So we're going to fold 3 eighths of an inch and then 3 eighths again, and then we will simply top stitch. What we can, what you can do is sew uh, that stitching line at the bottom at 3 eighths of an inch, and then that easily allows us to fold the first measurement up and it folds right on that stitching line and then we can simply fold again and that way we don't have to use our seam gauge really you can double check with your seam gauge if you'd like and i might do that but really you can just use that little trick there so i'm going to go ahead and pin these into place and then i'll take it to the sewing machine and i'll simply top stitch around i have my hem all pinned into place so now we're going to top stitch all the way around and i am going to set my stitch length to a three i also removed this portion of my sewing machine so that way I can fit the sleeve on easier. finished we're gonna to have to insert our sleeve so I went ahead and inserted one sleeve here so I can show you what it looks like we're gonna to try to get a nice smooth uh, sleeve cap and then on the inside I have my raw edges all finished this one I'm really nice so the first thing you want to do when you are inserting your sleeve you have to gather the sleeve cap and ease this in so we're not gathering it like we're gathering a skirt. We're just kind of creating more of a shape. And as you can see here, this is already kind of capped. So we're just uh, slowly gathering it and you're gonna pull on those um, bottom threads to gather it up to create a nice little cap like so. Next, we're gonna match up our side seams. So the way we do it is you're gonna have your notches on the front, you're gonna match up the side seam and then the two notches and then we will ease in to this portion of the sleeve. So I'm gonna put my sleeve wrong sides together. For my French seam. And I'm gonna start pinning in place. And then I will find my notches. You should have one on the front and two on the back and you're gonna match up your notch. Like so. We'll push this to the inside and this is where we start kind of gathering and shifting so that we can pin all this together there should be a little notch at the top and you're going to match that to your seam at the top Now you can see that this part is too big and this is too small. So we need to kind of maneuver these gathers so that there's a little bit more room to try to get it to fit like so. And I always find the center and pin it and then I work my way out. The center between the last two places that you pinned. Then do the same on that other side. And 
lines as you can flip it the other way you need to move it around the point is you don't want puckers when you end up sewing it in So it looks like it's really wavy and ruffly, but we'll uh, take it to the machine and we'll start stitching it in place and maneuver it so that it doesn't have puckers in it. So here I have my sleeve and bodice. I'm gonna place this in sleeve side down against the bead dogs, and then I'll have my bodice up. And then I will also be stitching starting about an inch or two away from this underarm seam. We're gonna just stitch around. I'll be doing mine at 3 eighths of an inch so that way I can um, go back and French seam it as well. In order for me to finish my sleeve, I need to trim my excess seam allowance. I'm going to trim that down and then once I do that I'll flip it right uh, the right sides together and I will pin it right along that seam allowance and then I'll stitch around again. And in order to trim this I like to put my pressing hand in here. I take a small pair of scissors and I just simply trim it to about an eighth of an inch being very careful not to hit the bodice or the sleeve. Always checking underneath to make sure I haven't hit my sleeve at all. But I'm gonna do this all the way around and then I'll pin it into place. Okay, you can see that I trimmed all of my excess sleeve uh, seam allowance. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn these uh, right sides together. You can press this. I just like to simply like roll the seam so it's right on top and then pin it in place. And I'm just gonna pin this all the way around and then I will take it to the sewing machine and I will do a quarter inch seam allowance completely around the sleeve. All right, I have my sleeve all pinned into place and now I'm just gonna stitch around. <laughs> see I have my whole bodice complete and this concludes the last portion of part three. Make sure to check back when we attach the skirt. Thanks for watching. Bye.